आज हमारे गिरदारी गोरिया मंडल कैमरा वालों की बौछारा रही है मीडिया वाले मीडिया वाले कैमरा वाले की जबरी बड़े बड़े कैमरा वाले आए हैं क्लाइमेट क्लाइमेट अपडेट करो अरे अन्ना अब लोग कैमरा के सामने से कम से कम कोई आए तो जय माने अभी ले लेंगे अभी जाने के टाइम नहीं होगा Oh, my God. 
वो सेवा करना चाहते हैं तो
लोग यहाँ करेंगे अभी एक लाइने लगाएंगे अभी थोड़ा देर में अभिषेक शुरू होने वाला है हर साल की तरह इस साल भी अभिषेक हो रहा है गंगाशिला का इसका बात आगे का जो भी कार्यक्रम है वो हमारा फेसबुक पेज में दिया हुआ है आप लोग देखते रहिए अगर जय जली देते चाहते हैं तो कीजिए लाइक और कमेंट और बने रहिए विद्यालय करवाणी के साथ पूरा दिन हम आपके साथ है हमारी टीम जारी है जी भी है दिल्ली से नहीं सब दिल्ली से नहीं भारत वर्ष नहीं भारत का बाहर से भी बहुत सारा भक्त लोग आए जैसे हर साल होता है रोज बैठने बोल जाइए तो फिर सही हो जाएगा नहीं बैठेगा चलो भाई सब बैठो 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 चलो बैठो पर भी बैठेंगे कैसे तुम लोग खड़े हो ना बैठ जाएंगे ना हम बैठ जाएंगे हम तैयारी करेंगे देखो सब लोग करेंगे या अरे से लाइन बना के और
राजाय नम वेद
of Giriraj Govardhan. All the Goswamis, uh, they have taken shelter to Giriraj Govardhan. They have done bhajan in Giriraj Govardhan. Sanatan Goswami, who is Lavanga Manjari in Krishna Leela, he used to stay in Vrindavan, but every day walking he used to come here in Giriraj Govardhan and doing the whole parikrama, then goes to Mathura and then doing Madhukari and coming back to Vrindavan. So in one day he used to walk like 50 kilometers, more than 50 kilometers. So he used to do Parikram of Giriraj Govardhan and Raghunath Das Goswami. He also... Uh, 
he has also prayed that O oh, Kiriraj Kuvartan, please be merciful on me and give me residence uh, in your foothills. And uh, Vishwana Chakravarti Thakur Chief Goswami Prabhupada, all the Acharyas in our Sampradaya, they have taken shelter to Giriraj Kuvartan's foothills and leave them Uthav himself. A person like Uthav who has come to Braj and uh, when he saw the love of the Brajavasis and when he saw the love of Srimati Radha Rani, so a person like Uthav, he has also desired to have shelter of Giriraj Kuvartan, so he prayed that whose life is successful in this world, it is the Braj Gopis, because their feelings towards Krishna, even Brahma, Shankar doesn't have uh, those bhav, and uh, I am also praying for that bhav, so to get the dust of the lotus feet of Srimati Radharani and he has desire to become tree, creeper or plant. So Dhav is thinking how this desire will be satisfied, will be fulfilled. Gopi's love is the topmost, but how my desire is going to be fulfilled. So then he saw, he understood, it is also not dear to me, and even my brother, thou is not dear to me, and even my soul is not dear to me, the way you are dear to me. So Uttav, for Uttav, Krishna is saying such a big thing. So where did he do bhajan? Foothills of Giriraj Kuvartan. As Uttav Kunda. Uttav becoming grass, he did bhajan. Because by the mercy of Giriraj Kuvartan, only my desire will be fulfilled. In Venu Keita, Srimati Radharani herself says, Hantaya Dri Rabla. So if only my so she is saying that who is the fortunate, the clouds are fortunate because the Krishna when he is going for cow herding, these cows are uh, giving shadow and gives water as rain and uh, whose life is successful? Deers. Whose life is successful? The cows, the calves of the brudge, they are successful because by hearing the flute, uh, the, the cows they forgot to drink, uh, to eat grass and the calves forgot to drink milk. So their life is successful. Only our life is unsuccessful. The Gopis, Radharani, are saying this. When our life will be successful, only when, if we take shelter to a sadhu, if we get a mercy of a sadhu, Bharat Maharaj says, So by the yajna or by the Vedas or leaving the house, so by doing all these kind of activities one cannot get the Lord till the time one doesn't take shelter of the lotus feet of the Lord. So who is the greatest among all the saints? Giriraj Govardhan. Giriraj Govardhan. <laughs> because he is Haridas Abareya. In the commentary it is said, there are three Haridas. First Haridas is Sri Yudhishthir Maharaj. Second Haridas is Haridas Var is Uddhav. But third number Haridas Varya. The topmost among the Haridas is Giriraj Guvardhu. So then he says in the Tika that Yudhishthir Maharaj is Haridas. 
that he has also served Krishna. Though he has served, but in what rush? Dasya rush. And also having a friendship which is mixed with God of Ashwarya. So Yudhishthir, when he... So, and, and also the Yudhishthir Maharaj has vatsalya towards Krishna, but it is full of opulence. Second is Uddhav. Because Uddhav came to Braj and he is friend of Krishna, he is also a minister and he is also a one who gives suggestions to Krishna. So when he came to Braj and he saw the love of Brajvasis, so he is Haridas Vara. So who is Haridas Vara? Kriraj Kuvartan. Why? Pramada Madana Leela Kandare Kandare Te. So Krishna, he is a Shingar Ras. Krishna, where he does Ras? Giriraj Govardhan, he did his Ras. Where he did Ras in the groups in Giriraj Govardhan. And especially in Radha Kunda. Five type of pastimes Kunj Leela, Jal Bihar water pastime, and swing pastimes, holy pastimes. So many type of pastimes happening in Radha Kunda and Sham Kunda. Gurudev sometimes says that Giriraj Kovarthan is who is he? He is not just Haridas, he is also Haridasi. Why? Because if he is not Haridasi, then the Madhur Shrikhar pastimes of Krishna, Ras Leela, is not possible in front of a male. So in one form, Haridas, uh, this Govardhan is Haridasi. So Giriraj Govardhan, <coughs> why he became stone? Why he has taken the form of stone? Why not some other form? Then Gurudev says there are two reasons. One reason is, just like when we take bath in the bathroom, and we know that it is all stone all around and we can do path freely because we know all around it is, it is wall, it is stone, so there is no problem. No one can see me. I can change my clothes and uh, I can do anything. So that is why Giriraj, he thought, if I become stone, then Kirir Krishna, he can do his uh, sweet Madhur pastimes. Shikaras pastimes. So Gurudev says that is why Giriraj became stone. Second reason Gurudev says why he became stone. There are Ashta Sattvic Vikar. There are eight type of uh, transformations. Sweda, Kampa, Ashru, Pulaka, Vaivarnya, Vaipathu. Then comes Tamba. So, so out of eight transformations there is thumb. Thumb means becoming like steady. There is no movement in the body. So when Krishna comes for cow herding with his uh, devotees, he is doing pastimes. When he touches his feet with Giriraj Kuvartan, Giriraj Kuvartan's heart uh, is full of love. And uh, the love starts uh, uh, coming in the heart and that is why he becomes a stone out of stuff transformation. Who have seen Giriraj Kuvartan? You see the one special thing in Giriraj Kuvartan. If you see any mountain, the cliff the cliff of the mountain, it is like a high rising cliff. But if you look at Giriraj Govardhan, you see that it is like uh, the stone gets melted. <laughs> if, you, if you go <coughs> above Giriraj Govardhan, you will see the stones are in the melting uh, position, not like the cliff. If you 
if you take one stone, any stone of the Giriraj Kovartan, you will see that how soft it is. And if you touch the stone at anywhere else, some other mountain, it will be hard rock. But any mountain of Giriraj Govardhan is so soft. So every every mountain, every uh, stone of the mountain Giriraj is uh, soft. Why? Because Krishna has done the past times and with the touch of Krishna's feet, this Giriraj has got melted. That is why, because of melting this Giriraj Govardhan, every stone is uh, very soft. And this is something you will find only in Govardhan. Any one stone of Giriraj Govardhan, every shila, you will, every stone, you will see the different forms. In some stone, you will see Krishna's childhood form. Sometimes you will see Giriraj Govardhan lifting Giriraj Govardhan, Krishna's form. And sometimes you will see Brahman Dev or, Girira, or Nirsing Bhagwan. So in any form, you will be able to see the Lord's symbols or the symptoms in the Giriraj Kuvartan. There was one disciple of Gurudev and I heard her experience and she used to say she used to say <laughs> that Maharaji that when I am serving Giriraj Govardhan in my house, I see Giriraj Govardhan in different forms. Sometimes Lattu Kopal, sometimes Kanaya, sometimes Nursing. So I see this Nursing in different forms in my house and sometimes I see him being in sulky mood. Sometimes when I wear him clothes, the clothes gets down itself and means he wants to say that I want to wear some other clothes. Then I, then I made him wear another cloth. So whatever he desired, he wears that cloth only. So she, <coughs> she used to speak like this and I was also surprised when hearing his, his talks. So Giriraj Kovartan is not an ordinary mountain. It is not a mountain. It is Krishna himself who is uh, the presiding deity of the Braj. Giriraj Kovartan is the presiding deity of the Braj. Gurudev used to say that this Giriraj Kovartan is a Sarva Abhishta Pradata. Means, Gurudev used to say that you need not to ask anywhere else. Where you have to ask for something, Giriraj Kovartan only. So the one who is doing Parikrama of Giriraj Kovartan, Krishna himself, is chasing that person, that what he wants from me. So he is doing my Parikrama with such a pain. So what he wants, whatever you want, Giriraj Kovartan, <coughs> will fulfill it. You will see on the Parikrama mark that there are many stones kept on one another, like in stack. So, so, so why they are doing this? Because they want a multi-story building house. And if someone is not getting married, they tie some kind of cloth or some kind of thread with the trees of the Giriraj Govardhan and their desire will be fulfilled. So Giriraj gives these things very easily. But Gurudev says, do not ask these kind of things. These things you will get automatically, but you should ask only for the bhakti and the service of his lotus feet. So ask only one thing, that just by getting one thing, you will be getting everything. So that is his service, his bhakti, one should pray for. Do not ask anything which is related to the materialistic desires. Why we are in, stuck in this materialistic world, what in Brahman, <coughs> because of <coughs> our materialistic desires, we are stuck in this materialistic world. So again if we start asking something related to Maya, then again we will be stuck. So Gurudev used to warn that, uh, be careful, do not ask anything, only ask for Radha Krishna devotion. And especially Giriraj Govardhan, his name is Giriraj Govardhan. Govardhan means, Go means Veda, Gopi, Earth, Senses, and Vartan, which increases. 
So, so Krishna Govardhan means the one who specially serves all the senses of Krishna. That is called Govardhan. Krishna is doing cow herding. The cows are eating grass and drinking water from the waterfalls. So, so the cow gives milk then we make the curd then with the with the bees in the trees of the Giriraj Kuvadham we get the honey so all the Abhishek material we can get from Giriraj Kuvadham and special service that he has done the Ras Leela pastimes of Krishna is the topmost so Giriraj Kuvartan he made the plan of Ras Leela Krishna did two pastimes one is dancing on the Kaliya's hood and second is lifting Giriraj Kuvartan so when Krishna did these two pastimes the Shingar rushed to to like nourish the Shingaras, like looking at uh, the Paurush of uh, Krishna. <laughs> like how we get attracted towards someone looking at the brave, bravery of that person. Like a hero. If he wants to attract a heroine, what he will do? He will collect so many people around and he will fight with them and will will make everyone run. So heroines, they will be attracted that, oh, this hero is so nice, so brave. So Krishna is a hero and he wants to do Ras Leela. So when he lifted Giriraj Govardhan, seven years old child, seven hosts, Giriraj Govardhan for seven days he lifted. Just like we say something, oh, this job is uh, nothing for me. I can do it just like that so that is why krishna he used his uh, his his index uh, his last finger his little finger and on even on the uh, even on the nail so gopis they said oh he is so brave there is a saying in Braj <coughs> that, that Krishna has got some power from the butter, some friends have helped and only with the mercy of Radharani he was able to lift Govardhan. So by looking at this bravery of uh, Krishna, all the gopis, they gave their full heart to Krishna. We have everything today, but we have something one less. Srila Bhakti Vedantit Maharaj is not with us. Because when Tirth Maharaj used to be here, all activities, uh, he used to <coughs> he used to handle everything. He used to shout, where are the brahmacharis, where are you? That this is not happening, that is not happening. So he used to like do all the management. Tirth Maharaj like scolding everyone. He used to call everyone and with whole enthusiasm he used to engage everyone in the service. So we do not have Tirth Maharaj. So with his generosity, we were doing this parikrama with such a great, uh, like in a great form, we were doing this parikrama. So we pray to him that he should be merciful wherever he is. So he should be merciful on us and he should give us the same encouragement so that we can keep on doing the parikrama.
अन्नकूट महोत्सव ऑफ गिरिराज गोवर्धन हुई सर्व अभिष्ट प्रदाता शिला महाराज जी वो स्पीकिंग अबाउट तीर्थ महाराज तीर्थ महाराज हैज नॉट गोन ही हैज थ्रोन मी इनटू द ओशन टाइंग माय बोथ हैंड्स बोथ शिला गुरुदेव इन ऑल सब्जेक्ट ही हैज ट्रेन डज बोथ दो वी आर फीलिंग हिस्स वी आर मिसिंग हिम When Gurudev left this world, everyone was feeling grief. But with the mercy of the Gurudev, we both slowly, slowly, we were trying to uh, keep it going. But then, <coughs> Tirth Maharaj has left us. Huh? On the day of Annakut, all the Brajvasis, all the Brajmatas, they were preparing various type of uh, food items. Mother Yashoda was also preparing, and Krishna asked whether it is my birthday today. Is it Tau's birthday? No. Yashoda said, "Do not disturb and go to Baba." So Krishna felt some sad that mother never scolds me. Why she is scolding me today? So then he went to Baba. Generally, Krishna used to stay near mother, and uh, even the, if the father calls, so still he used to stay near mother. So then he goes near to the father. He sat in the lap of the Baba. That Baba is it my birthday today? No. Is it Dao's birthday today? No. Then, why you are making all these preparations? It is not my birthday, Dao's birthday. Is it your birthday? No, it is not my birthday. Because when we celebrate son's birthday, then there is no need to celebrate father's birthday. So then, why mother is preparing all this food? Today is Indra Puja. Oh, worship of Indra. 
it's like he was saying it's so surprisingly that Krishna has never heard the name of Indra. So, oh, it, where is Indra? He, where does he live? Indra is king of heaven. Oh, I will play with Indra. Oh, do not speak like this. Why? <laughs> you are the king of you are the king of Braj and he is Indra. He is also king of heaven. Just like I play with you as as you are king, but I am still playing with you. So I can also play with him. No, he lives in heaven. No one can play with him. So what he does? He gives rain. Then we get grass. Then we get water in pond. And the cows graze and drink water and give milk. We also drink water and cook with that water. If, if the Indra is not there, there is no rain. So Indra is doing so many activities. So Krishna, this is the mukta of Krishna that he is, he doesn't know anything. Two things are acting simultaneously. One is Sarvagyata, one is Mukta in the Braj. In Dwaraka also these two things exist, but in the Braj it is the most. So Mukta is the maximum in Braj. So, oh, if the Indra is not going to, we are not going to worship Indra, then there is no rain? Yes, there is no rain. From how long we have been doing it? We have been doing it, says that it is no required to na- remember the name of the girls. Vishnu Chakrabarti Thakur <laughs> gives the name. The one who was Kshatriya, her name is Kshatriya. And the one who was from Vaishya, her name is Arja. Chakravarti Pal for this is Vasudev's wife, but Devaki Devi was so qualified and Jashoda was so beautiful. Chakravarti Thakur has written. So if we do not worship Indra, is it not going to rain? No. It, so but jungle also has got rain, ocean has also got rain. Then Baba, who goes to worship Indra in ocean? Who goes in the jungle to worship? Then why there is rain? Then the Baba could not speak anything. He could not answer. Baba, I think this is not the job of Indra. We are not getting rain because of Indra. Our Kul Devata, Giriraj Kuvartan is so tall and still it also have the big big trees. The monsoon clouds, uh, they are being pulled down by the trees. That is why there is a rain. So Krishna is showing the scientific reason. So science comes from Krishna. So Nanda Baba said, yes, it is fine. They said, Father, as per my thought, there is no need to worship Indra. We should worship Giriraj. Everything. So Nanda Baba, he announced in the whole branch that we will be worshiping Giriraj Govardhan. Whatever you have prepared, collect it and go to Giriraj. So all the Brajvasis, they collected everything and they went to Giriraj Govardhan. So Krishna in one form, he is small, standing next to Nanda Baba and in... Then all the Brajvasis said that we are poor people, so from where we can get more food? So just be satisfied. Then Giriraj Kuvartan said, Triptos, me triptos, me, I am satisfied, I am satisfied, and ask for the boons. 
So Giriraj Govardhan, if his stomach is fulfilled, then everyone's hunger is satisfied. So Krishna is the one who is all auspicious and is also have got the mercy of Radharani and his Pramad Madana Leela that Krishna's Pramad Madana Leela he fulfills and so that Giriraj Govardhana I offer Pranam this is the shloka from Vaman Puran Madha Puran uh, Madha Puran so all were satisfied and they took prasad and then he, they did parikrama. So when they are going on parikrama, all the Brajvasis from Ananda Vrindavan Champu, I am telling, when they are all walking, so I will mix from Gopal Champu and Ananda Vrindavan Champu. When they are going on the parikrama, Radha is saying to Lalita, O oh Lalita, if Nandanandan truly loves me, we are on the back. And if he comes near to me and looks into my eyes, then I believe that he loves me actually. So Krishna was herding the cows and Krishna, he twisted the one tail of the cow calf and the calf ran and went near to Radhika. So Krishna with the excuse of getting that calf, he looked into the eyes of Radhika and left back and went back. So Lalita <coughs> said, now you do not have any doubt. Then Radhika said, he came to get a calf, so I am still not satisfied, so he should do it once more. Then I will believe that if he still look into my eyes, then Krishna, <coughs> what he did? He took a stick and he was uh, like uh, throwing it in the sky. So he threw it in the sky so high. And he himself jumped to to hold that uh, stick and then he looked towards Radhika in the sky. Like when he was in the sky, he looked towards Radhika. So then she still Radhika said it should be three times that like Achman we do three times. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, three times. So Radhika also said, twisting it in the hand, and uh, the reflection was going towards Radharani, and through the reflection he looked into the Radharani's eyes. So then after doing Parikrama, they went back to their houses. And on the other side, the Indra, he was enjoying the Soma. And one follower of the Indra, he said that, Oh Indra Maharaj, today something really bad happened. That your worship has been stopped. Oh, my worship has been stopped. So then Indra sent another follower and he also came and saw that no one is worshipping Indra. They are worshipping Govardhan. Then wife said, it's fine, that uh, husband said that I will not eat, drink it. Again, he came drinking. <laughs> then the wife again said that when your sons will be getting married, your sons will not be getting married because you are a drunk, you are a boozer, like you have keep on drinking. Then he said, <clears throat> because it is so bad thing and I will keep on drinking it so that in future, some vartak clouds when they rain it is like a very big big like reservoirs of rain drops some vartak clouds some vartak airs and some vartak sun so there are three types of some vartak they are used at time of uh, destruction so for the thousand of years at the time of destruction first the some vartak sun it dries up whole land then some vartak air flows then some vartak water merges the whole earth so whole sky of the bridge is full with the clouds now and it's raining so when Maharaj Nand came to know about the situation of the bridge Krishna said do not worry we have worshipped Giriraj Govardhan Giriraj will surely protect us 
So let us go to Giriraj Govardhan. So then Gir Krishna lifted Giriraj Govardhan. All the Brajwasis came under the mountain. The Sakhas, they said that you are not any bigger, like son of a bigger person. We are also the same. So this is the Sakya Bhav, that we are equal. So the friends of the Krishna, even they abuse Krishna. That uh, Krishna says, my father has nine lakh cows. Then scalding Krishna, <laughs> abusing Krishna, the another friend says, my father has eleven lakh cows. You have two lakh less. So the friends, they said, so we are helping in lifting the Govardhan. So he, they were using the sticks. So Krishna, joking, he just left his, uh, uh, he removed his finger. And as soon as he removed his finger, the Giriraj Govardhan starts coming down and all the sticks got broken. Then again, they, 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 they said to Krishna that uh, you lift the Govardhan properly. And then Krishna, he was looking at Radhika Rani's eyes. And then the Madhu Mangal, he, he said to Krishna, oh, what are you doing? Nanda Baba, Mother Yashoda is here. What are you doing? You are looking at Radha Rani's eyes. So in this way, they are joking, enjoying with each other. So it is raining outside. Well, they ask Indra, you do not know who am I? In the form of Ananta Dev. So in the form of Ananta Dev, he made a boundary to our, around the Govardhan. And even the just one rain of one drop of rain is not good getting inside. So Shivji also became angry. What he did? In one kalpa own trident and very fastly he was revolving his uh, trident and all the water was getting spilled outside of Govardhan. In the Bhagavatam, Krishna has lifted Govardhan. It is, in the shloka it is not written which hand. The commentary, the commentators have written that with the left hand. In the Brihad Bhagavatam, Sanatan Goswami has shown the left hand. Group Goswami's path, <coughs> Bhaktir Samaris in the left hand. I'll ask one question to Vijay Prabhu if he can answer. He can give answer very easily. He is my younger brother. So I'm not challenging him, so he is my younger brother. <coughs> so the water is not coming down inside the Govardhan. Everyone is so happy. Our commentators have written. So Krishna has lifted the Govardhan with the left hand. Who lives in the left hand side? Shakti, the power. So on the left side, it is uh, the power of uh, Krishna. <coughs> so who is the power of uh, Krishna, Srimati Radharani? She is the Mool Shakti. And uh, out of the five fingers, which finger he has used? The left finger. Two reasons. Krishna wants to show that this activity is uh, is a very very easy activity for me to do. Just like we say that it is my left hand's activity. Second is that he wants to show that I have not lifted Govardhan. It is Radhika Rani. She has lifted Govardhan. So he asked the question to Vijay. In all our mat, you see like we have the paintings on the wall. There was one Dadu. Uh, it's Shula Bhakti Shirup Siddhanti Gosai Maharaj. He started it first. Vijay Prabhu used to stay in Mathura. In Mathura, Giriraj is lifting the Govardhan in the right hand side. So the artist did mistake and he used the right hand side. 
then the artist and Gurudev, I will change it. Then it is with the Krishna's desire, Gurudev said. But I could not understand why Gurudev said, <coughs> why Gurudev said that it is fine, it is Krishna's desire. What is the Siddhanta? <laughs> When Krishna was lifting over Than, Guru Goswami writes in the Bhakti Rasamri Sindhu, Sakhas, they are saying that seven days you are lifting the Govardhan on one hand. So your, 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 your hand must be paining. Give it to Sridham and we will massage your left hand. So then Krishna, he, 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 he took the So when he lifted, he lifted Giridaj Govardhan, why Krishna wanted that Gopis should come near to me? Gopis also wanted to go near to Krishna. So this is poor, <coughs> poor Vrag. <coughs> because of the fear of the society, they cannot meet freely. If a Prakrit hero and a Prakrit heroine, transcendental hero and heroine, I am using it for Krishna, not for the materialistic heroes. That is why I am saying transcendental hero and transcendental heroine. <laughs> there are four types of heroes. So the <laughs> hero has to do something so that the heroines get attracted. Krishna did two things. One is Giriraj Govardhan, lifting Giriraj Govardhan. So all the gopis were surprised that he is so brave that he has lifted such a big mountain. He is not ordinary. So the gopis got attracted. Then second was the dance on the Kaliya. The people, they dance on uh, some kind of rope or uh, some kind of uh, bottles or, or having the pots on their head. So people dance in this way. But no one dances on the snake. So when the gopis, when they saw Krishna dancing on the hoods of snake, they were so attracted. So on that day, Baldev Prabhu did not go with Krishna. Krishna doesn't go for 13 days on the cow herding. Baldev Prabhu also doesn't go for 13 days. The day when Brahma, Mohan, Leela and the Krishna, Kaliya, Dhamma, Leela, Baldev Prabhu did not go. Rupa Goswami has written. And also on the birth ceremonies. <laughs> so Krishna or Balram, if their birth ceremonies, they cannot go to cow herding and on the day of Kaliya Daman and Brahma Mohan it was the it was the birth ceremonies so 12 birth ceremonies so 12 days when yearly birth ceremony both cannot go so 13 days Baldev Purnima Baldev cannot go Krishna cannot go so Baldev Prabhu 12 birth ceremonies Janamashtami little brothers uh, yearly birth ceremony so both brothers will not go so 12 his years and uh, 12 years birth ceremonies and one his brothers so 13 birth ceremonies they do not go because of worshipping Brahman and go puja and do, giving donations to the Brahman that is why Krishna Balram is not going to the cow herding on the day of birth ceremony so when Krishna jumped on Kaliya Kaliya was uh, sleeping and if if like you you try to spill water on someone sleeping that other person will become angry so 
so the kaliya became angry so he was sleeping so krishna he jumped into the water and with such a great force he jumped and the water entered into like hit his face so when uh, kaliya he made krishna bound in his like uh, in his hoods uh, so he became steady krishna became steady so baldev prabhu was standing outside on the shore and he stopped everyone because everyone was worried that krishna has died so the mother rohini she stopped all the women prajwasis are weeping what are you doing thou that so krishna he said to uh, thou he said to the krishna that what are you doing krishna why are you making all the brajwasis weep you want to fight with the serpent then play, play with me fight with me so then krishna he started dancing on the uh, hoods of the serpent and while he was uh, putting his feet on the on the hoods he is actually breaking all those hoods so in this way he was doing the tandav dance so with these two past times the uh, braj gopis got attracted just when it was raining because of the rain so we are we got delayed so all our wood got wet so the food was not ready so let me check the preparations आर गुरु महाराज नित्य लीला प्रवेश शिला भक्ति वेदांत नारायण गोसाई महाराज नेक्स्ट इयर 2021 सेनेटेनियल हंड्रेड एनिवर्सरी बर्थ एनिवर्सरी सो इट इज रिक्वेस्ट टू यू ऑल देर इज ए रिक्वेस्ट the disciples of gurudev or those who are the grand disciples of the gurudev so everyone is connected to shila gurudev so those who are disciples of the grand disciples so it is a request to you all that for gurudev you write something or you speak something your experiences in delhi the disciple grand disciples uh they did a drama last nandotsav and they showed whole life history of the guru maharaj in that drama they used to offer prayers to the gurudev that give us power so that we can write the drama about you and perform So our Guru Dev is giving power to everyone, inspirations to everyone. So you write all your experiences about Guru Dev or speak. And there is a website.
So this is the website www.shilagurudeva.com and in this website uh, you can also record your voice there is also a system to feed your voice or you, if you have written something you can also post it there So in any means like by writing or by speaking you post it on the website. One more thing. You can also email. Email ID is Shilagurudev SGVP 2021 at gmail.com at gmail.com so this is the email So please post your experiences on this website. Today our program has been delayed because it is not the time to rain but when you are doing yajna you will get rain. So one Maharaj is using the Bhagavat Yajna so that is why the raining it is raining. And that was also, yesterday the topic was Krishna Janma. <laughs> so, so, that is why it was raining yesterday. Though there is no rain in the Karthik month. <laughs> Though Indra also did rain, it was also the Kartik month when it rained. So because of the rain, the wood got wet and the program is delayed. So I was listening to one lecture of Srila Gurudev. <laughs> Because this Govardhan Puja, what was the reason of this Govardhan Puja? Bhagavan says in Gita, those who worship the demigod, that uh, worship is uh, not the right process. Gurudev gives an example like if you hold the nose directly, it is the right process. But if you twist your uh, hand and uh, is uh, trying to hold the nose, this is like avidhi purvakam, this is a wrong process. 
It's like you are twisting your hand, your nose, your face, everything. So this is not the right way of holding the nose. So worshipping the demigoddesses, it is just like uh, holding the nose in a wrong way. And worshipping the Lord is the direct worship of the Lord. In the Gita, Bhagavan says this. But here he has done it, he has done it with example. That he stopped Indra worship and... Uh, and he made himself worship. But there is a problem that how can he make people do their his own worship? So then he manifested his form in the Giriraj Govardhan. And uh, he showed to all the Brajvasis that this is your worshipable deity, this is Bhagwan. So someone may ask that Indra worship has also been started by you. The worship of the demigoddesses was also established by you. And why you establish it? You have given the boon to your younger sister, Yogmaya, that you do my this activity and when you will complete my activity, what activity? that you go to Gokul and you take birth in Nanda Baba's house. First I will take birth, then you take birth. Then Vasudeva will take you to Mathura. So do this activity for me. And uh, and also attract Balaram from Devki's womb and place it in uh, Rohini's womb. So if you do this activity, you will be worshipped in whole world. <coughs> so he, he is himself is establishing the worship of uh, Devi. So who can stop her, her worship? So in whole world, in whole India, the Devi is being worshipped. The reason is because Krishna himself established that worship. So if Krishna wants, no one can worship demigod goddesses. <laughs> so, but still, Lord says in Gita that this is not the right way of worshipping. One devotee he was so powerful that even he can destroy the whole army of the Kauravs, just one, ar one arrow. <laughs> but Krishna, he chopped off the head of that Barbaric. And after chopping off his head, Barbrick said, You have not killed me. You have not killed me. What you have done? You have chopped off my head. So you do one thing. Just keep my head at, at some high place and so that I can see the whole Mahabharat war. So he saw the whole Mahabharat war with that head. And after watching the whole Mahabharat war, Bhagavan Shri Krishna, he kept his head back on place and gave him the boon. Just like I have been worshipped, you will also be worshipped in the Kaliyuk in the same way. So Bhagavan himself is establishing the Barbariks Puja. And now in India, this Barbarik is being worshipped as Khatu Shyam. So many devotees are there of Khatu Shyam. So that same Bhagwan, for his devotees, he cannot tolerate that my devotees are worshipping someone else. Okay. 
So Bhagawan doesn't want that my devotees are going to worship someone else. So Brajavasis are Krishna's devotees. So the devotees of Krishna, he wants that they should worship Krishna only. So, so Bhagavan, he himself placed himself in Giriraj Govardhan. He kept his form in the Giriraj Govardhan. That he is me. And that he said that he is your worshipable deity. So Bhagavan Shri Krishna, he made Giriraj Govardhan Shri Krishna. So that is why we are worshipping Giriraj Govardhan as Shri Krishna. So if a person is wearing the black glasses, he will see everything black. If he is wearing green glasses, he will see all green. Now, in the Krishna glasses, all the Brajvasis, they are seeing Kriraj Kuvardhana as Krishna. But when Radharani is looking at Giriraj Kuvardhan, she is not considering Giriraj Kuvardhan as Krishna. Radharani is considering him as servant of Krishna and also the topmost among all the servants of Krishna. That is why the name is Haridas Varya. So he is the topmost servant. So for Radhika, he is not Krishna. <laughs> so Giriraj Govardhan, he is playing the double role. So many people in this world, those who want the materialistic things, they consider Giriraj Govardhan as Krishna. But those who want bhakti, those who doesn't want Krishna but want Krishna's service, they are on the side of Radhika. And in the side of Radhika, So they have come late, so these uh, disciples of Madha Maharaj, they did a drama of Gurudev. So these were those people like who did drama. So every day they used to go to Gurudev and uh, they used to pray. So she and there is one more friend, they used to weep in front of the Gurudev that you give us power. So if you want to, you also have to write about Gurudev. That is why I am telling you. And we need it soon. Because next year it is centennial. So everyone should write your experiences about Gurudev. Your gratitude. What inspirations you have got from Gurudev. <laughs> so 99% people who come from outside, they say Giriraj Maharaj ki jai, they consider Giriraj as Maharaj. Maharaj is Krishna. So he is Takshat Krishna. When the people worship Devi or Khatu Sham, because Krishna has given boon to them, so in the same way the people are worshipping Govardhan. Because Krishna gave boon to the Devi that you will be satisfying the materialistic desires of all the people. 
and Kiri Raj Govardhan is also Sarva Abhishta Pradata. So whatever you ask from him, he will give you because he is Swayam Bhagwan. So Kiri Raj is Swayam Bhagwan. But Radha Rani, she is considering Giriraj Kovartana Saridas Varya. Yudhishthir Maharaj is Haridas. Uddhav is the Haridas Varya and <laughs> and Giriraj uh, Govardhan is the top most good, better, best. So third degree is called superlative. So Haridas Varya. So what kind of servant he is? Whether he is a male or a female. So now we are talking uh, from the devotee side. Okay. Yeah, yeah. 
Thank you. 